Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is second grade, module eight, lesson eight. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue their exploration of fractions. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about halves, thirds, and fourths. And really, mostly, we're gonna be using pattern blocks as our context for understanding those things. Hey, parents, teachers, if you don't have pattern blocks, you don't have to freak out. Go ahead and use any manipulatives you want, as long as we can cut them into two pieces, that's halves, three pieces, that would be thirds, or four pieces, that would be fourths. So don't get caught up on the pattern blocks themselves, just understand the point of using some sort of manipulative that kids can use to break them into halves, thirds, and fourths. So let's get started. So um, the idea of parents and teachers would be to just constantly reinforce the meaning of fractions that we're always talking about cutting our whole number in this case we're going to be talking about a hexagon each time into equal pieces for example if i were to say well let's cut this hexagon into two equal pieces so if i were to cover it with two hexagons so there's one i mean a uh, trapezoids that's a trapezoid there and and so I've used two trapezoids to cover up one hexagon so what did I do I covered it with halves each trapezoid is a half so we have two halves equals a trapezoid it equals one whole which is a hexagon similarly if I want to take this hexagon and cover it with three equal pieces. Well, I can grab these triangles, but it doesn't look like these triangles are going to do the trick. Um, so it's not going to be triangles. It looks like it's going to be the rhombuses. A lot of times we our, our students want to call these diamonds, and you can call them diamonds, but let's call them rhombuses because that's what they are. Or we could call them quadrilaterals, uh, but let's call them Let's call them uh, rhombus, because that's really a better term for it. And then, so there we go. We've got our three rhombuses cover up a hexagon. So that means each rhombus, each rhombus is a third. And then lastly, if we want to take this hexagon and uh, cover it with six equal sized pieces, we're going to grab these triangles and kind of I kind of gave it away a little earlier but we can let's see rotate a little bit and continue rotating whoa I want to bring that to the front there and there and look at that we now have six pieces perfectly covering that hexagon. So what do we have? Well, let's see. Get these out of the way. Up here, because two pieces are perfectly covering the hexagon, we have halves. And then here, because three rhombuses cover the hexagon, what do we have? We have thirds as in first, second, third. And then lastly, down here, because we have six triangles covering that hexagon, we have sixths. And really the point of all of that is just to continually allow our students the opportunity to play with these blocks and explore the meaning of fractions within the context of geometry. So they're also practicing all of that academic language like rhombus and polygon and triangles and trapezoids etc so the question here says sketch uh, two pattern blocks used to cover both halves of this rhombus so we're going to use a pattern block to cover only half of that rhombus well when we do if i take this triangle and i take this triangle you can see i'm making a rhombus all right and their rhombus in the book isn't actually a perfect, good, nice rhombus the way we would like it. Uh, so there it is, and we can see that 
two triangles makes a rhombus. So if we want to cover half of the rhombus, we would just use a triangle. So what would that answer be? It would be a triangle. And how would we sketch it? <laughs> right there. Cut it right in half. So here it says, again, name the pattern block used to cover half of the hexagon. So if we've got these figures, and I've kind of made it easy, two trapezoids makes, boom, makes a hexagon. So what is the pattern block used to cover half the hexagon? It's a trapezoid. And then how would we sketch it? Right there, boom, right in half. We cut it in half. See how this, whoa, <laughs> whoa, oh no, go away. Where, where are you going? Okay, there, <laughs> whoa. All right, so see how these two trapezoids kind of right there, boom, there's our hexagon, and it takes two trapezoids to make a hexagon. Name the pattern block used to cover one third of the hexagon. So we're getting a little bit more complicated. Now we need one third of the hexagon. So remember, what does that mean? That means we need to cover this hexagon with three pieces because the, the number, the word is third. So that's three equal pieces. So we have to say, well, what, what figures can we use down here that would use three of them to perfectly cover our hexagon? Well, we kind of just learned it takes two trapezoids to make a hexagon, so that's no good. And we've already kind of remember we, we did the triangles are just way too small for our hexagon, and this hexagon is not drawn to scale. But if we use three rhombuses, if we use three rhombuses, that gives us exactly a hexagon. So now we have our three equal pieces that make a hexagon. So what is the puzzle piece needed to cover a third of the hexagon? One of these pieces is a rhombus. So we would write rhombus up here, R-O-R-H-O-M-B-U-S, to make one third of the hexagon. Now we want to cover one third of the trapezoid. So one third of the trapezoid. So I think, whoa, yikes, if I take three triangles that's going to give me a trapezoid. Look at that. So what is one-third of that trapezoid? It would be a triangle. One-third would be a triangle. So here, we don't need pattern blocks. Of course, we didn't need pattern blocks at all because we could have used any manipulatives we wanted, parents and teachers. But anyway, uh, so here it says, draw two lines to make four squares. So ooh, that's a little tricky because we need to go right here. I think a lot of students might try and do diagonals, but that would not make four squares. That would have made four triangles. Now, I'm noticing I didn't, these are not very equal, are they? Uh, that's the beauty of math is I tried to make them equal, so use your math mathematical eyes or your math vision to see these as equal. It says one small square. Shade in one small square. Oh, sure, let's shade in one small square. So I just shaded in one small square. Each one small square is a fourth. It's one fourth because there's four of them. One, two, three, four. Shade one more small square. Sure, I'll do that right there. Boom. Now, uh, two blanks of the whole square are shaded in. So each one of these was a fourth. So now we've shaded in two fourths. We have shaded in two fourths. 
So parents and teachers, we're no, no longer talking about unit fractions. Now we're actually talking about uh, things other fractions other than unit fractions. In this case, two-fourths. And two-fourths of the square is the same as what fraction? Well, that's the same as one half. Because I can see, uh, let's see, right here, boom, one half right there, and another half down here. So you, we've got two equal size pieces. And lastly, shade two more small squares, gladly. Oopsies. There we go. And what have we shaded in? We've shaded in four fourths. And that is equal to the whole square. The whole thing is four fourths. So it says name the pattern block to cover one sixth of the hexagon. Now we've already kind of done that. We said, all right, one triangle gives us um, a sixth of the hexagon. Okay, so we already know that part. So now the idea is, let's see, there we go. All right, so now it says, but sketch the six pattern blocks used to cover six sixths of the hexagon. Well, okay, that means if we take six triangles, that's going to give us the whole hexagon. So one whole hexagon. Look at that right there. So that is what the picture would look like if we wanted to sketch what six pattern blocks covering that whole hexagon would look like. That's six, six. Now if we wanted to draw the picture, we could just draw it like this. Cross, cross, cross. There are our six sixths. And that wraps up second grade module eight, lesson eight. Uh, still talking about halves, thirds, and fourths, but this time we were using pattern blocks and we we're really talking about those equal shares.